Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jamina Love back with another video. So welcome back, welcome back. We are doing our glam glitz glam bag. This is a $13.99 subscription with taxes. Comes up about $15 a month. And we're gonna do a try-on session since I do have just my base on. It comes wrapped up with a lot of tissue paper. Keep it safe. And it has a card and says, need more glam? Head over to Glitz Glam to secure your glam. Lashes, BYOB, Glam Box, Mystery Box, and Glitz Glam Starter Toolkits. And then in the back is all of our products and their prices. So on the top, I see a pair of lashes. Very pretty in the style Lola. Let's open Lola up and see what she looking like. Very flirty, very cool. Let's put that back. And these lashes are $5. Not a bad price for lashes. The next thing is this Hakiri Cosmetics Lip in the color Rouge. Ooh, it's a rich purple rouge. Ooh, yeah. Very nightlight color. And this runs $15. So, so far, the lipstick and everything else is free. Next is glitter from Glam Light itself, or Blitz Glam Box itself. And the shade is written on the card. Oops. Dropping things. Hold on a second. Okay. And the name of it is Grand Prile. Grand, Grand Prile. It's a, a multi-chrome looking glitter. Try to open it after dropping it. It may not want to open for me. It's in this cute little diamond container which is nice, but not exactly economical, you know, for us to keep it, to use it, but it's really pretty. Let me close this back up because I don't want to lose a thing. Okay, this glitter can be a hot freaking mess, all right? And last but not least is a beautiful palette. Oh, the glitter is also five dollars. Oh, the lashes were twelve dollars. I'm sorry, I had that wrong. So the lashes are twelve dollars. The liquid lip is fifteen. The glitter is five dollars. And this palette is twenty-eight dollars. Ooh, let's see what we're getting ourselves into for twenty-eight dollars. I mean, pretty. Very, very pretty. Has no mirror. Does not. And it has this cover on it. And these are our colors. I did try to swatch a few that I may use because I'm curious, but I'm going to swatch them all. Swatching time! Yeah. First four colors. There's no names, but do we need them? Not really. Is that some matte neutral? This blue has got me. The purple is cute. And that orange is very mysterious. Very mysterious indeed. Just on the sexy point of view of it. And then the next row. And we'll line them up here. Ooh, that gray that gray. It's got a little green hint to it. Ooh, and that's a matte. So it seems like you could work <coughs> excuse me, the first row, the second row, as its own look, all by itself. But, not really, because here goes the third row, and it's got more mattes. And 
you can see the mats are quite muted, but swatches aren't going to tell us everything. It's just going to give us an idea of what we're working with, because it all matters on the skin and the eyes, which my eyes are prepped. Let's move this to the side. Pretty girls. Ooh. Like mirrors. Okay, they're like mirrors on the on my skin. That's beautiful. I want to do just one very glamorous look. So let's start off with some of these very clean brushes and do a pair of nice big and fluffy and put some powder under my eye and set my eyes. So I don't want a mess. And I'm going to use the C.I.K. Lenny setting powder. The V.K. one. Because that has just been my go-to powder since I've panned all the other ones. Oh. You know, I am a powder hoe. Not going to lie. I hope everybody can hear me okay. I hope I'm not, my voice isn't just drifting away with the air conditioner on. But we are pretty hot up in here. And if I turn it off, I will look a lot more sweatier than I am because I'm not sweaty. I'm actually glowing um, to the gods just today, darlings. Um, I used this Tarte Pro Glow Palette on my face. So I used it as my blush, my highlight, and my contour just a little bit. But it's a blush palette. It has mirrors on either side, and then you can see it has the one bronzer shade, three blushes, or four blushes, and one highlight. And it's all glittery. I don't know if you can see all that glitter, but that is exactly what is on the girl's face. Your girl needs a little bit of powder anyway to make mat me out. Yes. I just feel naked without powder sometimes. And then I want to try this. I found some of these little crafting strings and they're tape to put to make a good cat eye and they're very um, very easy to tear with your fingers and it's not a sticky sticky tape like uh, masking tape so that works too and we're gonna just Make sure our line is lined up with our eyes. Whoop. Well, I guess she ain't gonna work on powder. So, let's try it again. Maybe because I had it too close to my eye socket. There we go. Yeah. She didn't want to work on that powder for a minute. But I don't want to mess up the line. Oop. Maybe that's just the bad piece. Let me get a new piece. Aren't y'all glad I don't edit my videos so you get to see all the bloopers? See me dropping stuff? Alright. Because that is what it's about. The bloopers. Alright. So yeah, they stick quite nicely, but not like they really like you would really want it to. To powder. And that is my bad, because I did put, the, you know, my whole, well, let's, let's not do this. I put all the powder in the world on my eyes so, and on my face, so whatever, we're, we're protected. Let's just get this pair of brush, and let's start with something dark. Let's do this dark, dark, dark color. Put that into the crease. So pigment came through just a little bit. You know, so it's buildable. So I really didn't want it to be that dark, but I am not worried, not mad about it. And it's not, there's not a lot of chalkiness or fallout in the pan, and I haven't tapped off my brush once to make sure that, you know what I mean, that I'm not getting it everywhere. So that's good. And it's not splotchy. That's very good because, you know, we do not do splotches. Mm. 
there are everybody does their eyes differently and no way is better than any others. This is just the way I like to do mine. You know, because I am sometimes very messy, sometimes I'm using pigments. And I don't always do that on camera. And I don't like doing my foundation second. But if I do do my foundation second, it's usually because I'm going to be wearing a mask and I'm going to do it from here up. And just a little bit of blush and highlight. Just want to make sure these are both even because every time I seem to go higher on the left side when I do the right, when blending out. That's just that one dark gray color here. It looks different on my hand, but it's a muted dark gray black. The more I keep trying to build it up, it's not going nowhere. But that's that color. Okay. And I think this will be very pretty if I do it as a very simple, simple eye. So I'm going to do that very light, light, light color that we started with to use that as a blend out. I'm going to use my color switch. And we're going to use that color to blend out under the brow. Not very nice. Whose is this? A B Queen 16 shade eyeshadow palette. So whoever B Queen is, she she kind of worked it out. She is Jovina approved. Okay, I like to brighten up this little part here. going wrong way with the brush. Let's get something stiffer. Mm. I'm going to get a very flat shader. This is a, a Bretman Rock Wet n Wild brush. And it's a little flat one. He only had three brushes in his set. And I am really, really, really haven't tried any other of these other shades like that before, so let's do this gray on the lid. See if it worked without setting spray. Yep, it is a nice dual chrome type color. I like that. And you don't have to cut the crease, and there was no setting spray needed. So all you guys who like to do the fast track will definitely love this shadow. I'm used to really setting it down with some setting spray. I'm going to do this on the outer one third of the eye. And kind of bring it up. Kind of like. Like that. That's really pretty. I do want it to beam a little bit because it looks beaming on camera, but not in my face. So I'm going to add a couple more coats, but I think I'm going to spritz it this time setting spray just to see if they'll I'm using my Ofra setting spray oh yeah that really brightened it up that's pretty this off 
And in the front, I'm going to put the pink, pink one, this one. And I'm going to spray it because I don't want to ruin all my hard work with some fallout. They look almost exactly alike. Just one's a little richer. It really does. In my light, it looks damn near like the two colors. But that's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. It's a dual chrome that shifts to a, a pinky purple or pinky color. Alright, so let's get rid of the rest of this. I'm going to use a flat kabuki brush. Kind of like baking, I guess. But really just to catch all the fallout. And I'm going to smoke this out like because it looks really grungy, gothy, but in a kitty way. So I'm going to use my doo -doo 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 Kat Von D. Thick and chunky. And I'm going to tight line. And then I'm going to use, and don't ever let anybody tell you you can't use a shimmer under your eye because me and my girl, my BFF, A, hey, it's Amanda, we agree. Shimmer everywhere. Shimmer it everywhere. So I'm going to shimmer this purple because I love purple. And I'm going to wet it and we're going to smoke up the bottom lash line with the purple. Ah. I try, y'all. Every time I do it with my eye open, I tell you, I literally paint my eye. There. What do you think? I'm going to sit that right on top of that black. without getting it in my eye to the best of my abilities. All right, and then she get a small, very, very, very small fluffy brush. Got this one. I want to take that blue. It's not a matte, it's a shimmer. And I want to just go underneath that purple just a little bit. And all that'll do for me is change the color of my eyes a little bit. That's one of my little secrets. My dad tells me every time he sees me with one of these uh, smoky eyes like that, he's like, have you been crying? Who did it? You know, he just, he owned me. I'm like, no, Daddy, it's just my eye makeup. Mm. <laughs> I love it. I love it, though. All right. And I'm just using this Elamasqua pencil that I woke up a few months ago. Uh, what, last month? From its drying out stage. Now how I get a perfect line is I kind of stemple it across my lashes using my lash as a guide and then dragging the tip 
across that wet spot so that I don't end up with too much. And I want to get it as close as I can to my lashes. You know, because you get that little bit of eyeliner, or not eyeliner, um, shadow on your lashes. You want to get rid of that before you put your mascara on. Right? I think. And for mascara, I'm going to stick with my tried and true, this uh, Essence Lash Princess in the double lash effect. So it looks like the falsy lash. Put that on top. The only reason why I'm not using the lashes is honestly, you have to clip them, measure them to your eye. And a lot of people can do that really, really quick, you know, quickly and do it on camera. I've learned it's best that I don't do it as quickly and on camera because I'll end up with one glued really nice upwards and the other one glued kind of downwards. And I want to take pictures afterwards, you know, and post this on Instagram so you guys know that the video is live and come watch it. And can't be going with wonky lashes. But this mascara, compared to my Thrive Cosmetics mascara, which this is way cheaper, I think this is like $7, even though I want it in a giveaway, I got this in a giveaway uh, thing, so I really don't know exactly how much it costs, but it is drugstore all the way, and so it can't be more than $7, $12, you know, and I've seen them at CVS, and I plan on getting a new one, because this is almost out. Now we're going to try the lip. Which I think this really went well with the, with everything. Ooh. It tastes like great Kool-Aid. Smells like great. Kind of. Sorry, I just did like a a quick time work to high school. It sure did. This it took me back. Mm-hmm. That's what we think. Not freaking bad for thirteen ninety nine plus tax. Not freaking bad for fifteen dollars. Um, not bad for even if it was a $20. I mean, you got one, two, three, four full-size products. And if you're, even if you're not a lash person, which I am, but even if you're not a lash person, these are not the lashes. Sorry, those are the lashes I was going to put on. These lashes, which are their brand. So even if you're not a lash person, this is still a good buy and if you're not a glitter person this is still a good buy because those I'm gonna let you know some if you feel honestly you when you look at glitter and you're like I'm not a glitter person look again at other things that you do with glitter one you can paint your nails you don't like a lot of polish on your nails I'm so got that I chip my nails on purpose you know but my toes are fabulous and I put glitter in my clear polish and I work my nails and in the summertime pretty much all year round I'm not going to just say the summertime but in the summertime just for example um, we can make slime with our kids and utilize this glue we, my son is year round slime tastic okay he loves the slime it's way easier to go to Walmart, get you a big bucket of plain slime instead of trying to make it with the boric acid and all that because I'm not down with all that. My grandmother had a saying, why make it when you can buy it? I look at that as a 50-50. Now, I make my own candy because I need sugar-free candy and it's medicated candy. They don't make it sugar-free at most collectives. And if they do, it's a little bit way more and you get way less than you would if it was a regular sugar product, right? 
So I'm like, whatever, okay, I'll make my own candy. But when it comes to slime, I would rather have somebody else pre-make it. I take it home, put it in a balloon with my child, throw a bunch of glitter in there, some beads, anything that would make him, you know, sensory-wise. And we throw it in a balloon so that he has it for stress relief or just to play with. That's it. I mean, there's all kinds of things that I can think of with glue and glitter. Uh, not with glue, but glitter and um, sparkles and things that we don't utilize on our eyes. Like, this is a perfect shimmer sparkle for me. But if I really wanted to go Jaja Gloria, which I have glimmered out, you guys know it. I will put a little bit of, you know, glitter on my eyes. I'll even put a stencil on my face and stencil some glitter on my cheek. And I'm not going anywhere I'm because we're still in COVID time. But for the price and this lip bringing me back to high school, like it really brought me back to my first kiss. It tastes like his first, you know, I swear it has this great soda undertone that I haven't had a taste of in like five years so yeah and then I haven't kissed this person and I would have to say 20 some years and boy did I just it just time warped me back to high school I love that when a product can do that I mean there's so many good memories you can have with makeup and with um, different little things and I didn't even use a lip liner honestly it's just perfect Mm. I have to check this company out and see if they got some others in this because you, you know your girl's addicted to lip paint it has not completely dried down that was one thing so it's on my hand it still looks very moist because it it is but I'm not mad at it it's a nice color and it goes with this so perfectly and if you guys have any ideas that you really want to know, you know, leave them in the comment. Give me, leave me a comment. Let me know about things like the glitter. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial, if you want me to just do it on Instagram, which I, I like to do pictures on Instagram, show you step by step how to do something. Um, we are making bath bombs. My baby and I, we're going to be making homemade bath bombs. And that's where some of this glitter will be being used because it is eye safe. It is lip safe and it is also nail safe. I have other glitters that are all those things plus biodegradable. Now if you ever want to get into, you know, really, really get into some things that are vegan and biodegradable, the best way I felt to get those products is food grade products. You know, they're, you can get some from Mad Mica. Um, you can get some from Rumbleberry. They're um, a soap making supply type thing. And she has a YouTube channel, Rumbleberry Soap. And you, uh, she don't know who I am. I'm just a, uh, I watch soap, uh, soap videos, which I really love. And it's my new gig. I'm not making any soap because it is super, 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 you know, intense and laborers and which that is not the problem the problem is the lye that you have to use to create the soap with the oils is not good for my uh, one of my children he cannot be anywhere around uh, those type of products that are real powdery um, especially lye it can cause him extreme allergic reaction and resins to make jewelry I have to buy them and ask certain ipsy people, which I have no mind problem with, asking you if you can make a special design for me, because they will. And it's worth it, because they have the studio space to do that. When you have children and animals, you cannot make soap at home. You have to do it in the garage, or you gotta do it outside, but you gotta keep it a certain temperature, so it's always something dramatic when it comes to soap. That's why I pass by that. The most soap you'll get out of me is like these little bitty ice tray looking soaps that are the melt and pours from Michaels with a little toy in it for like my granddaughter's birthday party or my baby's birthday party. I'll make homemade souvenirs 
and yeah, you'll get some pore soaps, you can get some bath bombs, things like that. But when it comes to like artistical soap, your girl's just out. I can't do it. I'd rather take a class and really just watch you do it. But as far as the glitters go, if you guys want to know more, please don't hesitate. Is there anything that you want to know about makeup? Please don't hesitate. I may not be an MUA qualified to say that. I haven't had a license. I don't have, you know, all that. But I do have some skills and they're multiplying, as you see. And even Miss Karen and the MUA will tell you, I've got some skills. Um, and you got skills too. And we can work them all together. So if you like this stuff that I'm giving you, give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share the video with your enemy. At least they lost 20 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. And you get to laugh about that. And I will enjoy the watch time. Thank you so much for joining your girl, Javina Love. Be kind to each other. Be kind to the world. And tell somebody that you love them. And tell them that you're their hero. And that they're your hero. Because you're my hero. And you have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye.